I don't know why that just, you, Sophie was totally highlighted to me just now. And I heard the Lord say, when I said, seek and you will find me, knock and the door will be open, I thought of Sophie. And he said, he loves the way your heart seeks after him, and that's what you bring. Mm -hmm. That's so good. Anybody else hearing something for someone else? Yeah. Yeah? Britt was over at our house last weekend for the Super Bowl. That's so great. And I didn't spend any time with you at all. You were hogged by my wife the whole night. <laughs> So I don't, I have not spoken with you much I at all. a box of shame. Yes. Um, but the word that I keep hearing for you is that you bring intelligence. So. We could use a little bit. Just saying. No. That's beautiful. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Jared. Uh, I heard something for Ava. Oh. I heard, I just, I heard a word. I heard inspiration. That's what you bring. Yes. Yeah. Ava's my daughter, if you guys didn't know. She, didn't, she never sits with me, but she's mine. <laughs> <laughs> she sits at the youth table. Okay. Yeah, Heather. I'm not sure what your name is. What's your name again? Britt. Brit. Um, before um, Greg had mentioned intelligence, I'm kind of piggybacking off of him because it kind of made my picture a little bit more clear because um, I just saw a big trunk, like a trunk that could hold a bunch of things. And intelligence made a lot of sense, but even, but I just felt like you had so many things in your trunk that you were bringing to us as, mm. as a community, like resources and intelligence and just wisdom and just this whole trunk of goodies. Um, that you are bringing. So, yeah. That's fun. So I had written down the word intelligence slash insight, and I didn't know who it was for or what it was for. So I'm just going to add it to the list. Is, does insight, is insight in that box? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so intelligence slash insight. I had just I didn't know what to do with it. We each other like that. Is that so list. cool? That's so magical. Yeah. So I heard something for Chuck. Yes. <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> and I, I think it's I think it's the word curiosity. Oh yeah. <laughs> but then, but then the the next thing that popped in my mind was the picture of like a uh, like a cornerstone of a foundation. And so the, very much the word foundation was there. But also curiosity. I couldn't get rid of both, either of those words. So. I'm going to just speak of that too. Because I heard learner. But I think that just goes along with curiosity. And the spirit of being um, teachable and just being a learner. Mm. I think that's so important to this community. Sorry, that's for Chuck. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Anybody else hearing for anyone else? So I'm hearing for DJ, and I'm hearing the word enthusiasm, which I know means in theos, which means in God. So it's that like, in, that it's that like exuberance that comes from being in God. And enthusiasm is this incredibly contagious. Like when somebody's enthusiastic about something, it's really hard to like go, I'm sorry, I'm totally bored with you. It's a thing where you just, you smile, right? When you see someone who's super enthusiastic about something, you, you just are naturally like unguarded and drawn in. And I feel like you bring that. And I want to know what you thought about the ref calls during the game last oh. weekend. So. Did you not read his Facebook post? <laughs> I was know. that real? Was that real? Did you really think those were really good calls? Yes. You did? Yes. Okay. I was wanting to know that too. Because I was like, maybe you're just being politically correct. Because that might be required for your job. Oh, really? You, you thought they were right? They were right. They were right. 
Ah, that's so fun. Right. That's fun. Okay. I'm enthusiastic about that. <laughs> no kidding. Okay. Anybody else have anything for anyone else? Yeah. I love this. Yes. Good. Embarrassed to share because I don't like to do that. Um, I bring understanding and compassion. Yes. Yes. I so kept asking the Lord for something for you, and He said, No, she is standing on her own. She is standing. Let her stand. And I was like, Yes. So good. That's so good. That was super cool. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Um, we, um, that was kind of our like prophetic practice was right there with each other and for each other. So that's where we spent the time there. Um, I had hoped that we might take some time to write on cards for our conference. So if you have not signed up, it is the 23rd and the 24th. We are really excited about it because um, we have people signing up who we don't even know who they are. So that's weird and awesome. We had a bunch sign up the last few days. Really? Yeah. Weird. I mean, a small a bunch. bunch. Right, because we're tiny. Like a bunch. a bunch is like, you know, two. So <laughs> oh, it's more than two. <laughs> it's more than two? Really? I'm so, not gonna quote numbers because I'll be wrong, but it was It was more than two. Wow. Okay. Yay. So so if you have not signed up, I please I encourage you to do it. And if you can only like make the Saturday, like come talk to me, we'll figure it out. But basically the cost of it is the meals and the cost of the thing. So like it's four or fifty bucks. And we're really excited about what we're doing. So what I would want to encourage you to do is um, today before you leave or this week, what I want you to try and do is what Lindsay did, which is listen to what the Lord might want to say to someone and write it down before they show up. Please do it on the four by six cards. These are three and a half by five. The four by six cards that we have that are nice because we're going to print on one side and then your writing will be on the other side. So you can take them home. We'll pull some more out and you can pray over them. But here's the really fun part. Like we're gonna read them and ask who it's for and the, you'll actually know who it goes to, 